Morning, WLS land. I have been probably super disconnected. I think the last time I gave you guys a video might have been July. I'm not entirely sure. All of the days pretty much blend together. I have no brain left. I have nine days and counting to my wedding. I am still working. I don't have time off until about, I don't know, maybe three or four days before the wedding. So I am in wedding mode and work mode all at the same time. Plus the kids just started school. So we've got all that going on as well. Whoa, I just got brighted. Um, we'll just turn this a little bit. Anyway, so that's what's going on with me. I've got lots of stuff on my plate and all kinds of things going on. Weight still holding steady, same old, same old. Been the same for about a year now. If I if I, I was looking at my weight chart, my goal chart, if some of you have seen my early videos, I had this chart with all the weights on it and then I would put down the date when I reached that goal. Um, so I've been about the same for a year now and that that is, you know, in itself a little bit frustrating because I still have about 40 more I'd like to take off. Um, but my wedding dress looks beautiful and fits perfectly and um, if some of you don't know I bought my wedding dress seven years ago when my mother was sick and um, I've had it for that long and it's a size 16 in bridal uh, I wear a, a um, 13 14 in regular clothes so I pretty much was pretty comfortable with just staying steady this last year um, because I knew that I would be about the size I needed to be for my wedding dress. I know a lot of people will find that rather ridiculous, but um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to run the risk of continuing to drop and dropping too far to have it altered. So I'm good with it. I'm good at getting married at this weight. I'm good with how everything is going to be and all those kinds of things. We did the bubble run a few weeks ago, 5K in downtown Spokane. Loads of fun. If a bubble run comes your way, even if you're not like in running mode or you're not a runner or whatever, it is one of those fun run walk things. Um, we weren't in run mode either. We haven't done a full round of running since June and that's been a thing because we've just been too busy. I've worked loads of extra hours, Chris is working loads of extra hours, and we've just got a lot of things happening right now. We just don't have the energy, and I know these are all like non-fit people excuses, and the excuses I probably had when I was, when I was heavy, I don't have time to exercise and all that kind of stuff. No, I had plenty of time to exercise when I was bigger. I just didn't want to. I now I know what it means to not have time to exercise. I'm tired. I don't have a single moment in my day that's not scheduled and hasn't been that way for, it's been that way for months. Um, doing good. Morale is good. Uh, I got sick a while back. Um, I was worried about that, of course. And then, kid you not... I have this decorative lantern in my house and we moved the bed and the bed was underneath it and it decided to fall from the ceiling. It's been there for a year and a half. That thing falls from the ceiling and smacks me in the face. This was a week ago. I was freaked out that I was going to have a bruise on my face because this lantern decided to fly free and smack me in the face. I got lucky. I've got tender spots. There was a bump here that seems to have gone now. My cheek was tender. I, like, my whole left side of my face, it hit me in the face. Anyway, things are all good there. You know, I've got all the bride neuroses. Even though I don't have anything to worry about and everything is finished and there's no stress and everything like that, I've got everything lined up. Everything is set to go. You know, there's nothing that's fallen to the wayside that I don't know what we're doing with. I am anxious as hell. Like, I feel run up and like I, like I can't relax and I can't calm down. Like, and it's not worry and it's not cold feet. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. I'm just, maybe it's just anxious excited. I am anxious excited. I've spent that way for a couple, a week now and I've got a week and a few days left until the wedding and all of that is going on. But, um... I just love him. 
I, I really can't wait to be his wife. We're just super excited and um, I am just going to put it out there right now. I'm a weight loss surgery patient and I am going to try and have my first child next year. I will try and do my best at being a good documentarian and we will go through that together because I know some of you out there probably did this surgery for this reason or are wondering if you decide you want to have kids how that's going to make a difference and um, I want to share I'll share my journey with that with you sometime next year until then this is just shrinking Sarah um, neurotic bride um, steady weight about 220 215 back and forth and um, pictures and slideshows and stuff of the wedding to come in a week and a half or so love you